be the last memory of a champion who was more an artist than an athlete. Roger's last match will be in London. This is everyone's chance to say thank you to a champion who has graced the greatest courts on the globe. Every shot that touches his racket will be cheered to the rafters, and rightly so. It should be mentioned as well, Rafa, who is here, we're not sure how fit he is currently, to be honest. The ab problem that he's had for the last part of the season, not sure if it's cleared up. But he was out there, Todd. We were lucky to see the behind-the-scenes camera. He was working so hard to prepare for this doubles this afternoon. Underrated in terms of a volley, Nadal. The improvement throughout his career has just been probably the, the, the best part of his improvement. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I think it's gone through that gap. Even at the And there's the man they're going to target. It'll be one, two, three, four towards him and not to Jack Sock. He has to be prepared for that. Up on the big screen is a, a gentleman, as they rightly say, from the USA. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. The art of doubles is being able to absorb power and create openings. And he did both right here. This is the absorbing power, short backswing, and then using the delicate soft spinning off forehand. Touch of class. This time, Nadal's return catches the line. And a Team Europe going to catch fire right at the end of this opening set. And it's gone either way. It ultimately ends up with Team Europe taking it by six games to four. <laughs> Huge second serve from Rafa, but Roger was just a, a little static and a little late to the volley. And Team World break through early in the second set to keep their hopes alive of a second point. I called it, guys. Yeah. I called it. So good. What a point. Yeah, that was tough to pick up, to be honest. Mohamed Lahan has done an incredible job, actually, of seeing that, because I think, to be, honest, to be honest, nobody really saw it, and you can only really see whether that's happened on the bounce, don't you, Todd, with the top spin that potentially comes off here. I, I'm not... Well, I mean, looking at that in quick replay, I'm not entirely sure that it did go down first. Oh, he's hit it twice. The champagne still on ice. <laughs> Fascinating, isn't it? Because there's people in the corners. We, we know that there's going to be a celebration no matter what the result is. And we're gearing ever so closer to that time.
Francis doing everything at the net that he needs to do to keep busy, to keep distracting Federer and Nadal at the back and worrying about what he's going to do next. And all of a sudden things slipping away very quickly from Team Europe in this tiebreaker. And it is going to take a monumental effort to secure the win in this second set breaker. Of course, it's a 10-point match tiebreaker if you're just joining us in the Labour Cup for the very first time instead of a full third set. And now they are very much in the ascendancy, you feel, as we head to that. 10-point match tiebreaker. Team World still with the opportunity to end the day level on points. And I think you're going to see Team Europe at the net a little bit more as well. Here we go. Rolling back the years. And just where we said in that previous tie break where Jack Sock had kept the ball at Roger, Francis makes a mistake of taking on the net man and Rafa. Oh, what a pickup! A potential match winning reflex. Well, it's one thing to know where your opponents are probably going to hit the ball, and it's another thing off a volley like this to do what Jack Sock has just produced. And it's a point like that that just flips things on its head. Yeah, and he's talked that one. And in the context of this year's Labour Cup, a hugely significant point for Team World. Have a vision of being a champion. You see yourself winning one tournament or maybe becoming world number one, but not many, many times in a row and staying there for as long as I did. I love my career. Uh, of course, you're sad at the very moment when you realize, okay, this is the end. Oh, yes! A moment of magic from Federer. You know, he has always performed at such a high level and he served as a great inspiration to me and to so many other players. One of the biggest athletes in the history of, of sport, really. Everything for the sport. I mean, he's a Mount Rushmore dude. He said his name. He said Tiger, MJ. He said LeBron, Tom Brady. I mean, he's... He's that kind of guy, and um, with the grace he did it with, I think people want to know him more for the person he is, more than you know what he did. Beautifully done! What a strike! A little bit of subtle excellence from Federer. A bruising a cough uh, on the tennis court. Most beautiful player I've ever seen play tennis. Total class act. Loved the game more than perhaps anyone else I've ever seen play tennis. I wish I could do the same thing with a tennis racket like he did for so many years. Gorgeous. There's something about the way that Roger communicates to us through tennis. We miss the elegance, the classic play, the sportsmanship, just the ease that he played the game with. Oh, there's that oil painting of a backhand. That is so synonymous with Roger Federer. He's a very funny and goofy guy, and uh, I do enjoy being around him so much. I think I'm, I would never get bored of him. Many people think it's like just a Swiss watch, you know, like perfection and serious and everything, but not be. behind the scenes, he's uh, very fun. <laughs> He was the most complete player um, I ever played against and I've ever seen. 
he's always gave so much back to to the fans, to his fans, but to the fans of tennis in general. Too big, too strong, too fast, and simply too good in the end. All the things that we share together on court, uh, all these special moments, uh, I will not have this feeling again for the rest of my life. It's something that uh, it's in some way it's it's painful, but uh, I I just wish him all the very best. Roger, you have uh, you've had so many match days in your life, thousands of them, but this one had to be unlike any other. What's today been like to be in your shoes, to be out here on this court with Rafa, especially? Uh, we'll get through this somehow, will we? Right? Um, look, uh, it's been a uh, it's been a wonderful day. I told the guys I'm happy. I'm not sad. So. Um, Feels great to be here. And uh, I enjoyed uh, tying my shoes one more time, and uh, everything was the last time. And uh, funny enough, uh, with all the matches and um, having the guys and uh, being here, fans, family, friends, um, didn't feel the stress so much, even though I did think. Uh, Something was going to go, pop a calf or block a back or something in the match. So I'm I am so happy I made it through. And uh, the match was great. I couldn't be happier. So it's been wonderful. And, uh, and of course, playing with Ruff on the same team and having the guys, everybody here, all the legends. Um, rock. Stefan, thank you. Yeah, you've created so much history in this sport. You, you've really done so much, and so much of it has happened, and it's beautiful that it's happened with guys that are on the bench with you here. How special is it to have not just Rafa, Andy, and Novak? You guys have all been so important to the sport, and for this special night for you, they're here with you wearing the same uniform. That's got to be pretty sweet. It is amazing. It really is. Um, I, I didn't want it to, to feel lonely out there. I felt lonely for a second when they told me to go out or you wanted me to come out one more time. And it felt great, but uh, to be saying goodbye in a team, I always felt I was a team player at heart. So, a whole lot, but I've had a team, um, you know, that traveled with me for around the world. It's been amazing with them. So thanks to, to everybody who made it work for so many years. And then, of course, being on the team with Andy, Thomas, Novak, Matteo, Cam, Stefanos, Rafa, and uh, Kasper, um, and also the, all the other teams. You guys are unbelievable. It's been a pleasure um, playing all these Labour Cups. And, uh, and it feels... Uh, and it, and it does feel like a celebration to me. I wanted to feel like this at the end, and it's exactly what I hope for, so thank you. Well, it's been an amazing ride. It's been incredible to watch this journey that you've been on. It started as a boy playing tennis. You turned into a junior champion, then a world champion, and then you became a sporting icon. What has that journey been like for you? It was never supposed to be that way. Um, it's just uh, happy to play tennis and... Uh, Spent time with my friends, really, and uh, it didn't end here. So it's been a, it's been a perfect journey. I would do it all over again. It's been great. It's been so much fun. It's been amazing. Thank you, everybody. I've had so many people cheer me on, and you guys here tonight means the world. You've always had the fans. Wherever you go, you've always been the home team. And Roger, 
It's your name on the trophies. It's your name all across the record, Brooks. But you didn't do it by yourself. You had a great team behind you all the way. You had your family behind you all the way. How much did their support help you get right here? Yeah, I mean, we have to go there. No, I, I've got more questions. No, no. We can move on. It's okay. Um, I've done okay so far, I feel at least. I'm at least able to talk. In my vision, I was never able to talk, so I'm doing way better. <laughs> and uh, uh, everybody's here tonight from my family, so it's great. Um, I've had so much, so much fun over the last um, 13 years, ever since. Yeah, ever since everybody's here, the girls, the boys, my wife's been so supportive, and... She could have stopped me a long, long time ago, but she didn't. She kept me going and allowed me to play, so it's amazing. Thank you. And then, I, I don't know, I find that always funny. We always blame my mom for everything because without her, I wouldn't be here, of course. So thanks to my parents, you've been amazing. Thank you. And uh, just everybody, too many people to thank. It's just been incredible. My God, fantastic night. Thank you, everybody.